Oh my god, it's Rainhawk. Moving like the speed of sound. We can keep on the ground. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Seba. Welcome back to another Destiny video. And today we're going to look at how you guys can get one step closer to getting the sleeper simulant. Now, firstly, if you haven't already, you must, I repeat, you must hand in four Deval infusion rifles to the gunsmith for the chain to begin. You can get these fusion rifles randomly by doing normal stuff like quests, killing mobs, strikes, etc, etc. Just keep at it and eventually you'll get one. Now, once you've handed those in, you'll have access to the first firewall mission. Simply load the mission up and run down the bunker where you'll have Taken and Hive Knights spawn on you. You'll be facing four waves of enemies and a mini boss at the end. The Hive and Taken Knights spawn in a particular order. This order is important to note down as you'll need to enter it into the transceiver you get at the end. But the best thing about this is you won't need to do that as I've saved you the trouble in doing so. Simply enter the codes in this particular sequence and you'll be done. So what you see here are basically four codes you need to enter in order to get access to the next one. Simply follow this from 1 to 4 and then eventually you will receive a broadcasting transceiver which basically gives you access to the next mission which is the Shadow Call. I've linked it in the description for those that would like to solo it easily. In a nutshell, you have about 4 minutes to do this. You simply have to run past all enemies, get to the top, open the chest, slay the 3 wizards for an exotic item known as the Aikilos Fusion Core. Anyway, it's really easy. As you can see, I had about 2 minutes left to slay them and it didn't trouble me at all. Now, once you get the fusion core, you need to activate 5 parts to it. Firstly, you need to dismantle any legendary or higher heavy weapon for heavy power coupling. Next, for ionized shell harmonics, you need to complete the archives mission on Venus on any difficulty. I myself did it on easy, so that just proves you can do it on any difficulty, whether you want to do it easy or hard, it's your choice completely. Finally, for the last three, you need to complete the defend the warsat public event on Earth, Moon and Mars. For help finding public events, check Destiny Public Events, either Google it or follow the link in the description below. Now, once you have done all five, you simply activate each node and then it will give you the option to reactivate the core. Once you do this, you get another exotic item called the reassembled Aikilos core. Once you have this, the description will tell you you need to take this to Banshee the gunsmith and after you do this, the quest simply ends here for now. I personally think the second part of the quest will probably activate next week Wednesday when Arms Day resets. Other than that, unfortunately there is no extra info. Having said that, once more info is available, I'll be sure to create part 2 on how to get the sleeper simulant. Right guys, if you found this video useful, share it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Seb and I will see you in the next video. Peace.